Mayors from all across the country are converging on Reno this weekend for the 90th annual Conference of Mayors. And Vice President Kamala Harris was also in attendance today. Brian Hoffman joins us live at the Peppermill Casino where that three day conference is taking place. Pretty busy, Brian. Yeah, you got that right, Kristen. Now, during the Conference of Mayors, they discussed a range of different topics uh, stemming from mental health to the economy as well as education. But of course, in light of recent events, gun violence and possible legislation against it was at the forefront. No 86 year old should fear for her safety to go to the grocery store. No nine year old should be afraid to go to school. And no 18-year-old should be able to buy a weapon of war. Everyone is um, wondering about gun safety, right? That is really on top of every mayor's mind right now. The vice president mirrored much of President Biden's speech from last night, calling on mayors to push for more reform on gun legislation. You are not only local leaders, you are national leaders who show such courage, conviction, and fortitude during some of the most difficult times. Every mayor today echoed a similar notion that when you want something done, it usually starts at a local level, which often starts with local government. We live in our communities. We're not in Washington uh, removed. So mayors have a pretty significant impact on cities. And so when we come together, our voice is uh, much louder and much bigger. This conference also gave mayors across the country the opportunity to see what policies are working across the country and work towards emulating successful practices in other cities to incorporate them into their own. So many good lessons here from other mayors and other cities and so we can all learn from each other and again set really important policy at the federal level. Yeah, mayors helping other mayors, and this is actually expected to bring in over $3 million into the local economy while they're here in town. It'll be going on until Monday. Covering Story Live, Brian Hoffman, 2 News.